Should you trust AI to keep you safe? Let's put that to the test. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my channel, everyone. I'm the Global Cherry, and today I will show you how I survived the chance cult using ChatGPT. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show. My best friend Kim and I suffered from trauma because we pranked my sister into drowning in a lake a long time ago. It's just a prank, sis. We decided to go on a spiritual retreat together to an island to find peace and love, dude. Embarking on a spiritual journey. The retreat members were very friendly and welcoming, especially their leader Tyler, who looks like a Russell Brand copycat. But isn't that how our spiritual journey begins? The group had matching white clothes, wore necklaces with prisms, knew about my past from Kim, damn it Kim, and invited me to participate in a peaceful ritual with them. How kind. Not culty at all. <laughs> they even gave me this delicious herbal tea that's starting to make me feel weird. <laughs> Now what? I've been tricked into a cult, I can't report this crime due to no signal, and a paranormal force, the gloom, possessed my best friend as she ran away in hysteria. The AI suggested reaching out for support in this stressful time, but Kim was my only support network leading me to search for her. The AI also wanted me to prioritize my safety, so I equipped myself for hostile dangers ahead during my search for Kim. It was easy to fend off hostile dangers as I knew their deadliest allergy. Come here, let me tell you. Plants! Lots and lots of plants. So I slapped the enemies with sage, seasoned them like salt bay, and fried the frogs, the bugs, the cultists, and the beasts. <laughs> Kim attacked me in her possessed state, so I did what a best friend would do. Slam her against a candle and a mirror, making her unconscious. Oh yeah! Sorry, Kim! <laughs> Knowing that I can't rely on just Kim to survive, I created my own support network and developed an exit plan with Hannah, a former cult member. She says that the only way to save our friend and seal the gloom is to complete the ritual with the members, which required finding the members. Speaking of which, where are they? I found Sunny in his old workshop, but the gloom possessed him to fulfill its dark plans. He became gloomy. But um, tsh, don't leave. What have they told you? He ran into the dark mines and I chased after him. However, in life and even after death, my sister wouldn't stop being a pest as a ghost and pestered me by distracting me from my mission to save Sunny. I'm sorry when I die. As I kept making terrible puns and gathered more information on this cult on the island, I realized that these people were not as sweet as I thought. In fact, these people needed therapy. Stop. Get some help. I will sling you over the shame stump myself and give you as many whips of a fire lash as I think you deserve. I find Sunny deep inside the mines only for him to be captured by the gloom physically embodied into a bug's body. Where's my bug spray? I did my best to rescue Sunny, but the bug liked him so much that it tried to make babies with him. Sorry bro, I can't help you. Peace! I take Sunny's prism and find Maya, who goes to the lighthouse with me to find a way to control this gloom. Maya succumbs to her green gloom, believing her dead son was still alive. It appears that the gloom tempts you with your greatest desires and consumes you. I can hear him calling for me. Maya wanted me to redirect the beams to the lighthouse, but it was an anger-inducing process. The AI told me to stay patient, so despite wanting to bang my head against the wall, I stayed calm and did the puzzle. Upon completion of the puzzle, I had to use crystals to deal with the possessed Maya spinning bacteria you see in a science book. Come to us. Hannah mentioned Tyler saying that Monroe's mask and his prism could control the gloom. We tried to reason with Tyler, but he refuses to negotiate without a barrier between us. <coughs> Take my ligma. Ligma bot. We steal Tyler's prism and after being ditched by Hannah, I enter the Red Realm only to face an invincible skull creature. <laughs> I was unaware that this thing didn't have a health bar, so I used all my resources. No. Hannah heads to the geodome with me to find Monroe's mask, but the door to enter required six orbs in the colors of Skittles. Why? The door to the geodome opens where the cult used to do rituals many years ago. Monroe, the old cult leader, challenges me to a fight. You have my prism. 
I brought my very best to the fight. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I had no resources to fight him off. No plants, no salt, no oil, no powers. The game wouldn't even give me resources to defend myself with. It hated me with all fiber of its being. After losing my mind in the ritual room for 30 minutes, I was about to relent and let the cult leader send me to the afterlife. Kill me. Then suddenly, I remembered I had one option left. My special tactic. Poking the cult leader in the eyes with one hand because my character doesn't know how to use two hands at the same time. After defeating the cult leader, Hannah picks up his mask only to face Tyler. Tyler demands her to hand the mask over as it was an heirloom from his ancestors. But even his ancestor calls him a disappointment. How sad. Your bitch mother abandoned us. What the fuck? Hannah, help me! Monroe kills Tyler and harnesses energy from the crystals to raise an army of evil forces from the gloom. With absolutely nothing in my inventory, I had to use my gamer brain to detach the reflectors and turn the forces against him. What a flex. Hannah, Kim, and I had momentary peace until Hannah decided to raise the dead cult members using Monroe's mask with all our prisms. A large creature emerges out of the portal containing the heads of our cult friends. <laughs> it's enough to give you nightmare fuel. I fought in this boss fight as hard as I could with the materials I had until the game decided to stop giving me materials. I was left with nothing but my finger again. The AI told me to stay strong so I can build a new life after all this. As one of the monster's tendrils impaled me, <laughs> I came to a realization of the AI's words. It didn't mean stay strong for my old life. It meant building a life in the afterlife. So the lesson is, my sheep, never trust AI to keep you safe. And join Join my cult. I'm kidding. I'll leave the cult stuff to Joseph Seed. That is all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe for more content like this, leave a like on the video, and let me know your thoughts on this game. Thank you for watching, and that's all.